Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video will contain copyrighted lies and deception being used underneath the Fair Use Act for educational purposes. You know, you, uh, that trailer came out for the mockumentary that Mark and Pat did against the Flat Earth community. And they showed this clip here, and this was back when, oh, six months ago when Mark and Patricia went to the Houston uh, NASA museums and um, took a tour, okay? Um, th this is going to prove that it's all staged, scripted, and a hit piece, okay? Now, this starts out with them coming through the rear door of the facility. Why are they coming through the rear door of the facility? Because they closed off the front door to uh, paying customers so Mark and Patricia can film their mockumentary without being interrupted by lots of people, okay? So they're trying to convince you that they're coming through the front door when it's actually the rear door. You know, you could call it the stage door for actors because these two are actors pretending to be flat earthers. Now, I challenge any flat earther out there to put on a flat earth t-shirt, go to any NASA facility, and go in there and try to film. Ask if you can have the building shut down and so you can do your documentary. And they're going to laugh at you. In fact, they're probably going to escort you off the property. If not, just tell you to, you can't film in the building. Okay, but as you can see, Patricia is filming this, and that guy, Daniel J. Clark, is behind her filming Mark and Patricia here. All right, so this is the trailer clip right here. Now, let's go to when they're getting ready to walk in this building. Remember, they're trying to convince you that this is the front door for people coming to see this rocket. That's a lie. It's over here on the other side of the building. And like I said, they're keeping all the visitors out of the main building so that these two can do their filming. But this is all an act, ladies and gentlemen. And pay attention how they try to um, convince you this is the front door. And remember, they're all acting. On. <laughs> I'm going to try it. Of course. He's going to try it. There's no way. It opened. This is, it. This is the entry. This is Folks, the entry. this <laughs> is the entry. This I'm door has nothing in front of it. There are no signs. That's the no entry fires. where a Saturn V is. It's just a giant air conditioned room. Well, thank God. It's all a freaking lie because later on you can see it says exit. <laughs> So they want you to convince that this is this room's empty. Nobody really comes here and look at this rocket and everything else. But you all remember just the other day, Patricia said she isn't the kind of person to confront people or, or to do any kind of street activism or anything like that. She's very shy and reserved and all this other bullshit. But she knows this building is emptied out for her and Mark to do their filming in. And like I said... If you're a flat earther, try to contact NASA and ask them if you could do a flat earth documentary in their building. You're going to get laughed at. Okay, so here we go. Goodness, it's air conditioned. Yes, let's enter. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, let's let everybody look at it together. Look at this. This door could lead anywhere. But you know where it does lead? To the largest rocket booster in the history of our civilization. Let's go in, shall we? Look at the lock on the door, too. It's nothing. Whoa. Okay, this is impressive because of magnitude of size. Wait, we're the only ones here. Does everyone see how big this is? You see how big this is? How could you know you're the only ones there? Unless you know they already closed the facility off so you could do your filming. It's a huge building. Uh, Mark says it's over 100 yards long and you got this huge rocket. You can't see the other side. We're the only ones here. I'm going to say something that's never been uttered in any NASA facility ever. Oh, I can't wait. The Earth is flat! And it echoed. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all just an act to try to convince you these people are really flat earthers when they're actually deceivers. By doing this, they could still take the credit that they're, oh, they're, we're waking people up. But when people go find out that they're urine drinkers, then they're going to say, oh, these fucking people are crazy. I can't believe I fell for that flat Earth bullshit. Okay? It's called, I call it um, Flat Earthers Using Negative Association. I'm going to do a video on that one of these days. All right, so there you go. You can see it's all staged. It's all an act, okay? They're trying to pretend that that's the front door, but you're going to find out that that's not the front door. It's the exit. 
All right. So in the next clip, here is Mark and Patricia. And they're just shocked. You know, they say this is real technology, by the way. Okay? Behind them. I say it's all just an elaborate stage prop. It never flew. Okay? So, let's listen here because Mark and Patricia are shocked. Because there's no people here. This is history. There should be people here viewing this. And Mark says it's like, uh, let's listen. <laughs> this place should be too huge. Mark was walking away when he was talking, but he said, this place should be teeming with people. Well, it is, Mark, but they were told they can't go in right now because you guys were filming. So, pay attention. Listen to Patricia here. This is a part of our history, but it was so long ago, two generations ago, that people forgot. You know, the thing is about this that we know, well, this is real technology, but we know space travel is impossible the way we know it. Wait, the way we know it? Is it impossible or not, Patricia? <laughs> but this is why. But this people is why we should got be in here looking it. at this. This is why we got away with it. Do you it. hear that? People should be in here looking at this, and she's shocked. This is history. The engineering is real. Meaning, the rockets are real. You can fire this thing, provided everything was there. You could fire this thing up. <laughs> so, sure there's people who work here who know that they lost the technology to this and it can't fly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is all an act, ladies and gentlemen. So next, Mark does, he claims, Mark does this speech. He claims it's an a, a impromptu speech, okay? He claims this wasn't uh, scripted, but it is. Trust me. <laughs> so he gives this long-winded speech. It lasts about almost five minutes. Let's get you framed in with the American flag. Listen here. Go. What you're looking at is part of, I haven't really rehearsed this, so I'm just gonna go with it, is part of the greatest science fiction story ever told. So there you go, he goes on and on and on for about six minutes, okay? So let's go to the next clip, and you look at this look on Patricia's face. You know why she has that look on her face? Because all those people that should be here looking at it are coming through the front door now. <laughs> Watch what happens, ladies and gentlemen. And this will show you that it's all scripted. They lie their ass off and they use deception to fool the flat earth community. Pay attention. After the wall, do you want to call it? Yeah, we're going to go look at the wall, the Great Wall of Lies. <laughs> and then we're going to call it a show. And as I'd mentioned earlier, tomorrow is the secret show in my home studio, Mark and I and sitting next to each other sharing my mic. I hope that works. The cats have warmed up to him, especially Rory. The other two cats are, they, they like him for sure, but you know, they're a little more skittish. And we've watched a couple of movies. We'll talk about that in The Secret Show, what we've been really doing personally while we've been hanging out. Look at all the people, watch. You're gonna all of a sudden see 30 people, a NASA employee that Mark says doesn't work there is gonna pop up and tell Patricia she can't use her selfie stick. I think it was all planned, that NASA employee being there. Let's watch this play out, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, they must have just heard Patricia that we should be there viewing this. <laughs> because I'm not shitting, literally 30 people pop out of nowhere because they were told they can go ahead and go in the back now they're done filming. <laughs> it's been very fun. It's been nice having him in my house. Mm -hmm. Look at all those people. Now watch. Walking by the group of people here, trying not to get anybody on camera. I don't know why, but it just seems maybe rude or wrong without their permission. Look at this. Oh, there's an official, so they might say no selfie sticks. So I'm going to kind of close the selfie stick and hide it again. Go. I'm hiding it. Uh, sorry for that, view, folks. I got away with it. Now, watch, they're gonna be going right, here we go. the front door. Catching out a lot of people door. suddenly because the tram made it. Everybody's very in awe. 
of this here. Uh -huh. Alright, so what is this? Hold up out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. You can see they're just straight up lying and using deception on everything they do. Have a good day, everybody.